Did they combine science, diversity, and technology together purposely? So they could do that? Of all the things they could put in front of the building for an art display. Alright, so I'm going to go to the Richland Library, leaving my parking, my overnight parking spot that I stayed for two nights. Next to the BioLife, next to the Walmart. It's like a big trucking parking lot. library is, there's a library here, but I'm not too interested in it because there's a food bank that I'd like to hit in Richland, although it's really not, it's not a big race. I guess I kind of feel like it's a race because it's it's rather hot around here. I shouldn't I shouldn't treat it as a race though even though it gets a little hot. The heat seems tolerable. When I got up to 90 yesterday it actually seemed kind of tolerable. But I, you know, more than two days in that one spot it's probably is a little excessive. Although I, I, I think I might have, might be fine with hanging out there another day, especially just go to the library and hang out. Wow, it's really busy around here. Jeez, it's like a rush hour. Driving school. This guy's gonna need a lot of clearance. That's, that's pretty close, but I guess uh, that works. So I'm taking a route that's not suggested by Google Maps exactly. It's kind of suggested, but it's not the first choice. I'm just most familiar with this route because of the bicycling. Yeah, it's like I could take it easy and just hang out where I was for another day. I probably could have. Now that I think about it, it's like, yeah, the library will be opening up soon. I really don't need to race to the food bank. I'm eating less. And whatever, I, I can't really hold on to any food for very long because of the heat. So it's really not a race. Maybe I won't even bother going to the food bank today. I can't even think about eating right now. I've been eating too many oats. But I gotta say, you know, that dealing with that sun yesterday was was pretty easy to do, and I think I think it I think it's because of uh, eating more potatoes. And I had, see that's the thing I have enough potatoes to last a few days. It's not a big rush to get more. And this seems like a potato air, potato growing area. Okay, I'm trying to remember where I'm going exactly. It's I 
don't turn here. I know that it's like a T intersection. Just going through a car lot, banks, Wheatland Bank. The turns, the turns are pretty straightforward for the park. Okay, yep. And then I want to get on the bridge. Yeah, see those guys are probably going to Richland as well. Straight, yeah, so it's a T intersection. Oh, I crossed a little too more than I should have. Richlands, okay. Okay. Just wanna take a right here onto the freeway entrance. Um, yeah, I guess you don't really need to. It's not clear, but. There was no sign, but you don't need to stop. I didn't see anybody else ahead of me stop. Okay, I want to <laughs> hurry it up here. I don't know the speed. It could be like 65. I'm going 55. 70, it's 70. So I'm only going 60. And I want to take the first right after the bridge. Moon Security Service. Exit 5B. In one mile. Huh. That's. I don't think the bridge is a mile long. And I, I intend to just park all day at this park. I was just. I was looking. I was thinking Fred Meyer's library parking lot. But I don't want to have to move. Myers, I'd have to move. I want, I want a spot where I can park all day. City center for exit 5B. Right lane must exit. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Just follow the river. Okay, they say drop down to 50 for this curve. Oh. Looks like I'm still kind of getting on a still on a highway a bit. like every day for way too long. Alright, so now I want to get familiar with the uh, next turn. Okay, it'll be like turn right on Bradley? Okay, Bradley. I don't, yeah, this... You know, at any point around here now, I'm in Richland. I'm not, I'm maybe within a mile of the, the library right now. So almost any, any point, it gets really busy around here. So, so dealing, dealing with the busyness. 
dealing with all that busyness, I, I just I'll accept whatever I can get. Take what I can get. Right on Bradley. Professional case management, Tri-City foot and ankle. Road work ahead. I didn't see, I didn't notice any any major construction when I was bicycling through, but I can miss it sometimes. Looking for Bradley. There's Bradley already? Wow. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. And now. I'll be on. Oh, I know what that. I know what that was. That fell. Richland Community Center. Well, either way, this is a road, right? Amon. Oh my God. Amon Park. So now I'll take my. Oh, got somebody behind me. Ooh. Well, anywhere around here works. Okay, yeah, anywhere. Ooh, those are some nasty bumps. I, yeah, okay. Anywhere can work. Oh, here's more bumps. They really shake up my engine, these bumps. I didn't see any, any regulation on, on parking. Maybe I'll just turn into here, and because it doesn't really look like much going further down. Stop here. Seriously, if you think about it, to notify somebody that you're recording, do you absolutely need to like verbally tell them? Can't they just see the camera out? That's verbal, right? That's that's like uh, communication well enough. I mean, do I have to like actually communicate with the words, or could the communication be that? the camera is visible because that would separate the difference between a hidden camera and one that's clearly on display that's what I don't care for personally are the sneaky cameras as much as ones that you know are are there and and uh, being being used Never heard of Yolks Fresh Mart before. Okay, there's a bike rack.
It's a little crooked. So I got another flat. This, I got a brand new tire and tube with the thorn, both have thorn protection and I still get a flat. Not sure where the flat starts. Got these slime scabs. I, I don't, I wasn't happy with them last time. I don't even know why I bothered. But there's no other tubes at this Walmart. So I'm kind of out of tubes. I take the chance with this. The hole is, yeah, my, it's completely flat again. All because of the little hole that's around here somewhere. Possible with these tubes that I just didn't put the scab on right. The instructions say to put the scab on and then put it back together and inflate. I don't think I did that right away. I don't think I put it back together and inflated right away. So I did. I did that right away now, and now it's. Inflated it and I'm gonna give it a half hour hour whatever all night and see if the tire goes flat again Keeping it 38 all day long 38 degrees in there And it got up to 990 All right, I had this uh, this weird dream where I, like this when was informed that there's a bicycle yoga class so I show up at the bicycle yoga class and it's just people like sitting around meditating and I expected to see them like pedaling in the with their feet in the air and it wasn't that and this all happened in my dream I was confused in my dream I thought that this bicycle yoga would go a lot different than what I expected it just turned into more of a meditation where nobody moved. I'm kind of surprised to see a park ranger. But uh, this is a fairly populated park area. One of the best built up areas along the Columbia River. I didn't want to have to approach the desk. So all I'll hear is stuff about membership and fees. Memberships and fees and whatever else is. Are you, are you a resident? Membership fees, are you a resident? Kind of rare to see tennis courts that have the, the fence wall lowered towards the center. But these these are people who probably know how tennis works. Well, it's high over there. Okay, maybe not. They probably kind of know how it works. That people tend not to hit the balls over the fence towards the center as opposed to at the the ends.